Well, it's the silly season and players left and right are being linked to Liverpool this off season. And one of the latest is athletic club de Bilbao's Nico Williams. No, not the Nico Williams Liverpool just sold for 16 million pounds to Nottingham Forest, but a different Nico Williams, who is the younger brother of Anaki Williams from Athletic Club. Now, if you are a FIFA or a football manager player, you might remember Anaki Williams from the last maybe five, ten years ago when he was a young, exciting prospect in the football world, and you may have signed him for your team on FIFA or on Football Manager. Well, he's still playing there at Athletic Club, and last season, if you saw Liverpool play the Bilbao Club in a preseason friendly at Anfield, well, you would have seen Anaki Williams take part and play that game. Um, but his younger brother, who is 20 years old, Nico, uh, he is currently on the radar of Liverpool, well, according to reports. And these reports come, of course, from Spain. And the reason I say that like I did is because, for me, th this is one of those reports that you typically get from media outlets from the continent, uh, basically trying to drum up interest in a young player, perhaps a club is interested in selling, or perhaps the agent of the player is looking to generate some kind of a move. Now, not to say Nico Williams isn't an exciting young prospect, because he is, he's 20, he just turned 20 actually on July 12th, um, but this right winger is maybe not what Liverpool will be going for at the moment. Now, reports out of Spain have indicated that Liverpool are interested and Manchester United are interested. And when you kind of throw that around, again, that throws up some red flags to say, right, maybe that this is, again, a club or an agent or a media outlet trying to drum up some interest in a player. Now, again, not saying that he's not a very talented player, but again, Liverpool may not be ready to splash a reported 40 million pounds or 42 million pounds on an unproven 20-year-old playing at Athletic Club de Bilbao. Nico Williams, like I said, just turned 20 on July the 12th. He's come through the Athletic Club uh, Youth Academy, the younger brother of Anaki Williams, who is really the, what we would call the franchise player, or the, the, the top player there at Athletic Club. And I would assume that the, the team would have big plans for Williams going forward. He's valued at 10.8 million pounds, according to Transfer Market, and has a contract running until 2024. Now, we've not really seen a lot from him in uh, La Liga. He's only played 36 times overall for Athletic Club. He's not scored a goal. He's not assisted a goal. So we've not really seen that much of him. And, uh, you know, there's still a lot uh, for him to do. He's played for Athletic Club's B team before. He's played in cup competitions as well. So there's a lot for him still to really do at 20 years old for Liverpool to really, I think, uh, really wanting to be going after this this prospect for the price that has been quoted. Now, he can play on the left wing or the right wing, but you know, Liverpool do have players who can do that already. Luis Diaz, Diago Jota, Mohamed Salah, Fabio Cavallo, and uh, Harvey Elliott can all play those positions at the moment. So there's no real need to go out and sign a Nico Williams for £42 million. And he scored two goals as well in the Copa del Rey. But again, the competition in that, uh, playing against Real Mancha leaves a bit to be desired. So he shot onto the radar of the, the football world, really, with a goal against Atletico Madrid in the Supercopa de España. He also got a couple goals in the Copa del Rey against Mancha Real. So, you know, he's got some goals in him, but he's only got those in cup competitions and playing in 36 games in the La Liga competition, you know, failed to register a goal or assist. Now, should be said that he did play a lot of time off the bench, so he hasn't had necessarily a lot of game time or, or played a full 90 minutes uh, too regularly. And if you just scroll through his stats from last season, uh, he never played one full La Liga match. He never got a full 90 minutes. Uh, I think actually 82 minutes was the most that he got while playing for Athletic Club last season in La Liga. So Again, these reports stating that Liverpool are interested in, in signing Nico Williams for £42 million. I don't see this happening uh, unless he has a, a really strong season this upcoming season. But then if that happens, then that price tag is going to shoot up. Uh, to me, again, like I said before, I think this is mostly just a media outlet, a team or an agent trying to spark some interest in a player uh, who could, in a young player, who teams, possibly in England, would be really interested in signing. I don't see Liverpool going for this. 
Uh, but I have said before here on the channel in previous videos, I do expect Liverpool to make another signing this offseason, whether it is a, a defender or uh, another attacking player. I don't think it's going to be a midfielder because there's no need for a stopgap midfielder as Liverpool hopefully sign Jude Billingham next summer. Uh, I think that Liverpool will be going after uh, another player, signing another player, not necessarily a big name, not necessarily a big transfer fee, but they'll add someone else as we get closer to September the 1st. So guys, that is Nico Williams. So this is the news on Nico Williams and Liverpool being linked to him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should Liverpool be going after a young player like Nico Williams or should they be holding off on uh, such a young player who's unproven and be going for someone else? I know a lot of you are desperate for a midfielder to come in, which is not going to happen. Klopp has already addressed that uh, in his pre-season press conference. He's already talked about how a midfielder is not going to be coming in this off season. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Should Nico Williams and Liverpool link up for this next season? Should Liverpool shell out 42 million pounds on this unproven winger or should they look elsewhere for another attacking player? And also guys, you can find my social media handles in the description below and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and you can join the Liverpool Reds FC blog Facebook page. All right, guys, I will see you soon here on the channel. Oh, also, please share and like the video and also subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate everyone who has subscribed so far, helping me grow this channel. And, you know, it's great to have you along for the ride. I will see you soon here on Liverpool Reds FC blog.